Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. You hung around regularly, right? Yeah, not regularly. Not really. I mean, I was part of the. I was part of the organization, not part of the inner group. Okay. But you was around. Yeah. So, so how did you get? How did you end up getting around? If you was taught, that I said not because the games. What are some of the things the games? They murder. They steal. So if we are taught these things, how do we end up in being affiliated with gangs and things like that? Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What's the condition of this neighborhood? Hey, 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 but overall, it's not as bad as a lot of people make Right, Chicago is not as bad right, as you know people make it seem, but we do know that right. murders still happen in the city. And who's the one doing the murder? We are. We murdering each other. Why are those things happening? Why why do I look at you like you my enemy? Or what and I'm not saying us exactly, but why do we look at each other like we enemies? Right? Actually give me Jeremiah 17 and 4 first. Because the one of the things because like all of those things that he brought out with us being cursed, we left our name for a curse. The question, one of the questions that we gotta ask, why did these things happen to us? Why are we in the worst, because when you go to any city, you go anywhere in Chicago where we at, what's the condition of that community? Is it good or is it bad? It's different. It's different on the, on the people that's living there. But in general, where, where we are at. Oh, uh, where we're at, I'm, people will say like, the slums, like it's poor. It's bad. But then when you, when you transition over like to the north side, it looks different. You can see it just by driving. Right. So read that real quick. Because this is one of, this is what happened to us and why we live in these conditions. Read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy inheritance. So this is Jeremiah writing. And the Most High is telling him that, that even you, you Jeremiah, even yourself will discontinue from your inheritance. So this is talking about the nation of Israel. We discontinue from God's laws. We discontinue. When you discontinue something, what happens? I don't know if you ever worked in retail or any stores. When they discontinue a product, what what happens? If a store dis like you go in the class, the clearance section. When they when they put something on clearance. At a year from now, you will be able to go and get that, that item again. So when the Bible says, when he says, shall this continue from your inheritance that I gave you? Read it again. And thou, even thyself, shall this continue from thy heritage that I gave thee. So we said we discontinue from our heritage. When a person has a heritage, what is that? What is a heritage? Huh? Where they come from, they way of life. They culture, right? So with us, like he was bringing out, we call you, we call like we call ourselves black, African American. You call yourself Puerto Rican. That wasn't our. If you go back, and, and you go, if you go back far in time, you're not gonna be able to find the name Puerto Rican. That's us discontinuing from our heritage. Right. Now go to go to Deuteronomy 28. No, uh, Jeremiah. But I had, had you at first. Read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 25. Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding good things from you. So this is why we live in the conditions that we live in. Because of our iniquity and our sin. You know what sin is? What is sin? Something you're supposed to do that your parents told you. Something you're not supposed to do. 
So who gave us those guidelines of what sin is? Right. So we just read that your sins have withholding good things from you. So then now, okay, why are we living in the conditions that we live in? Why are we constantly, why is, why is parents constantly burying their children when it's supposed to be the other way, other way around? It's, 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 a, it's a cycle that people are receiving. Right. So let me ask you this: Who's teaching? The, who's teaching us? Huh? It's supposed to be our elders. It's supposed to be our elders. Our elders are not teaching us. But how many? If you, if we was to ride up this block, we on Roosevelt. If we was to go up to Sermat, how many churches you think we'd see? Besides the one I know on Douglas, that's probably about the only one from here to Sermat. In the community, how many churches are in the community? How you doing, sis? Because did you did you grow up in Catholicism or Christianity? Did you grow up going to church? Did, did the Christian church tell you who you are? About as far as your nationality? Well, like this, no. So they did. So did they tell you about what the commandments that you got to keep? They did. What commandments they tell you that? What are some of the commandments that you learned in Christianity? How you going, bro? That's when I steal. Now let me ask you this: Did you have, were you a part of any gang? Were you in, were you, have you ever been around or known anybody that did those things? Did you, you hung around them regularly, right? How do we end up in being affiliated with gangs and things like that? I guess it's more of a personal choice to certain people. Certain people feel like they need to be a part of something because they feel it's bigger. I didn't. I didn't have that that feeling, so I didn't. That you didn't wasn't get, relevant. You said you didn't, you didn't get deep too deep yeah, into that, it. Yeah, that wasn't relevant to me. Right. Okay. So uh, what you got? Right. Read that. Read that. The book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 7. For the priest's lips shall keep knowledge, and they shall seek the law at his mouth. So the main one of the main reasons that our community is how it is, is because the, the many churches that, that flood our community are not teaching God's law. They're not teaching us who we are as a people. Because if, if we know who we are, if you know, if you know who you are and how rich your heritage are, are you gonna go and shoot your brother that look just like you that's going through the same struggles that you're going through? Are you gonna go and kill him? So that's the, that's how we know that the churches we got been The churches are not teaching the Bible as it is written. You may have heard the Ten Commandments in the church, but are they really teaching that? Because many churches you go to, what is the who is the pastor, the deacon? They got the women on the front row with, with, with short skirts. They can look, they can look up on their skirts. A lot of the, the, the pastors and the priests that's in the community are committing to those. Right. They, they, they steal it. So the reason that. get older we like man we think my, my, my mother was taking me but she had a boyfriend my mother was taking me but okay she was married to my dad they got a divorce and then she got another guy that she's sleeping with that she's not married to that's that's not commit adultery 
So the examples that we seen wasn't showing, they, they was saying it out their mouth. Read that real quick, Isaiah 29. I'm gonna uh, ask you a couple questions. Don't go nowhere. Uh, yeah. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 15. Verse 13. Wherefore, the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near unto me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me. So this is our people. With our, with our lips, we show, we show honor to God. We say, we, hey, how you doing? I'm blessed and highly favored. We do this day in and day out. We say we blessed. We know who we are. We, uh, we know our identity. We do this all day in the Christian church. But then when you examine the Christian church, the Christian church is not keeping the commandments of God. Read. But have removed their heart far from me. So even though we say all those things out of our mouth, our heart is far away from this Bible. How do we know? Because when we read the Bible and say, hey, you as a man, you're supposed to have your beard. Oh, no, I ain't got to do that. That's the old covenant. But that's the Bible say. When Christ came, he said he didn't come to do away with the law, right? So when we read the laws, we have to understand that we're supposed to be keeping the, the laws. Read. And their fear towards me is taught by the precepts of men. So what we hear in the churches, the thing that we hear in the churches is, is taught by the precepts of men. It's not coming from the Bible. They may read one scripture to start their sermon off, but they're not showing us how to keep the commandments. Because when you, like I said, there's so many churches in our community, but the community don't reflect the church actually benefiting the community. Because a lot of times the church is tall, decked out and everything, right. but then the building, the, the neighborhood behind it is downtrodden, trash all over the place. And we're not excusing, it's, it's us, we don't really, we don't understand, we don't understand how to upkeep our stuff. Right. So we, we throw trash on the, we throw trash on the ground, trash on the ground, then somebody come clean it up 10 minutes later, trash all over the place. We don't take care of our neighborhood. But that's because we haven't been taught. We haven't been taught to take pride. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 